Good morning. Welcome to the vlog. I believe this is a new vlog. Um, it is Friday, March 29th. So Fridays I have check-ins and today I decided to come outside because I want to soak up some rays. Not really. It's too cold to be wearing like a swimsuit right now, but just being outside is, you know, doing wonders for me, making me feel a lot better. So I'm going to chill out here while I do check-ins. I got my freaking gallon per usual to stay hydrated I do drink actually over a gallon of water a day I'm um, just I usually have that gallon and a Powerade Zero and that is what I find works best for me if you have questions about hydration my recommendation is to drink at least 120 ounces a day just for optimal physiological functions um, and that's almost a gallon a gallon is 128 ounces so there's a little pro tip for you, but that is what I got for now, and I'm going to get to work. Yo, so I just finished up a handful of check-ins. I'm still waiting on a few, but I kind of want to talk about the fact that there's never going to be a perfect, like, 12 weeks or 16 weeks or six weeks or whatever to like do this whole fitness thing right there's never going to be a perfect block of time where you can do your fat loss phase and be on top of everything because you don't have anything going on there's always going to be weddings and graduations and birthday parties and just social events and i hear so many people say like dude just let me get to this next month like i just have a really busy month um and then i'll be on it like then i'm gonna be ready to do it and it's like yo that's what you've said every month for the last how many months you know what I mean and it's not like I'm not trying to like shit on people who say that because I used to think the same thing like I used to be like I just have to get through all this other stuff and then I will be able to like live my dream life and crush my goals you know what I mean and once you realize that there's never going to be the perfect opportunity to do that um I don't know it's like your journey just becomes a little bit easier because you're like well I gotta figure out not not easier I guess it, it's it's hard at first but it's just more realistic when you realize like hey I have to make things work around my schedule because like I think what taught me this the most is when I was on prep and I was in law school and I was competing on the mock trial team and I just had so much going on but I still made like the fitness side of things happen and that's because it was a priority to me and I realized that like there was never going to be a perfect time to prep and there never will be. Um, so I just kind of wanted to touch on that because I do hear and see people say that so often and I just want to like just hug them and be like, dude, it's okay. There's never going to be a perfect time. Um, and I just want to like educate people on that, that I know in our minds, it's so easy to be like, okay, I have this perfect opportunity, um, where I don't have anything going on and I'll be able to crush it. And like, it's just, it's never going to be true. Right. Um, but the point of fitness is it should add to your life. So you can absolutely still enjoy those social events and make progress toward your fitness goals. Okay. I had a check in today where, um, one of my clients went, she's in a fat loss phase. She went to date night with her boyfriend or her husband. She's married. Um, and it did not like hurt her at all. Her weight didn't even fluctuate up. Okay. She still ended up losing weight by the end of the week. Um, and it didn't cause her to stall or anything like that because she was smart about it. So if you can nail that balance of enjoying a meal and moving on and not binging or going off the rails, um, and also keeping everything else locked down for the week, like your sleep and your stress and your water and things like that, you will be amazed at how easy this is. People tend to overcomplicate it. So yeah, I just wanted to touch on that, but it's a beautiful day here. Obviously everybody back home is telling me it's storming and they're like, Oh, you, my sister texts me and she's like, Oh, you don't get to see this anymore. How sad. And I was like, yeah, but I got this though. Like not a freaking cloud in the sky. I go, I have palm trees and sunshine at my fingertips when I want now. So I'm soaking it up, but I have to pee so, so bad. I've been like chugging my gallon um and I probably need to eat so I think I'm gonna go back up to the apartment and do that but I really might come back down here because the sun feels so good so that's the update for now 
happy Friday, even though you're probably not watching this on a Friday. Good morning, it is Saturday now. I meant to vlog last night because we went to Whole Foods, had the salad bar, and then we went and got Carbolite. I lost my Carbolite virginity. If you don't know what Carbolite is, it's super, well, you can get super low calorie, like Froyo kind of like ice cream. Um, and it's literally like two carbs per ounce. So I literally got a mini 10 ounce and I was full from Whole Foods. So I couldn't even eat it all, but that would have been 20 carbs. You know what I mean? Um, and it's really close to where we live. So that is what we did last night and now Lexi and I are actually about to go get brunch and then we're gonna go to the farmer's market I'm so excited and then we are going to get a lift in this afternoon I'm sure so it's gonna be a great roomy day a nice Saturday in San Diego it's freaking sunny and beautiful of course so I will show you brunch <laughs> Okay, so we just wrapped up at the farmer's market and Bay got some eggs. Some eggs. We got some succulents. succulents. I'll show you when we get home. Um, but we're gonna put them on our little TV stand and it's gonna be so freaking cute. And the farmer's market was adorable, so we're gonna plan a time when we can come here and actually eat since we just had brunch, we didn't want to stuff ourselves. But it was super cute. There was like flowers and produce and all of that good stuff. So yeah, it was a beautiful morning and now we are going to head back home and catch you on the flip side. <laughs> Yo, so I just went and got back and shoulders done, got some cardio in, recorded some abs for Instagram. I do share a lot of workouts over there and I will just say, I stick to the same workout split for six weeks and focus on progressive overload, so getting stronger with those movements, and then I switch things up. So what I do is I train, and then I'll record a few sets here and there of just random exercises and post those on my Instagram as like workout ideas. I do not switch up my workouts like every single day and every single week that I go to the gym. Like just so you know, that's our PSA. And also that beeping is the dryer, so that's going to keep doing that. We'll ignore it. Um, but since I failed to bring my camera with me to the gym and record anything else today. Basically what happened was we came home from the farmer's market and then I just went straight to the gym, ran errands on the way home, which included the grocery store, which I just picked up some, a few necessities. I will save a grocery haul for another day because the other place I went was Ulta and I want to share with you what I get, a few of my staples. Um, Cause I actually do get makeup questions, which is dope. I love makeup, but I realized that I never share uh, my makeup stuff. So a couple things, um, and this isn't even makeup, but I get my body wash from Ulta and I always use Soap and Glory. I really like the body wash that smells like oats and almonds, but I couldn't find it. So I just got the normal one. Um, it's just creamy clarifying shower gel. It's called Clean On Me and it smells so good. This one doesn't smell like the oats and almonds, like I said. It just smells really clean. Like, oh, I, you're just gonna have to smell it before you will know what I'm talking about. Oh, it's so good. And then I also needed to pick up some sunscreen because now that I live here, I need sunscreen, right? Okay, so when I go to the beach, when I am just laying out by our pool, our apartment complex has like four pools. So 
Got some sunscreen. <laughs> now moving on to makeup things. So the first thing I picked up was a primer and I use a green primer. Now when you put it on your face, yeah, it is a little green, but then you just rub it in and it's, it, you can't tell, okay? But the purpose of getting a green primer is because the green counteracts the red in your skin. So that is why I like to use a green primer. This is just from NYX. Um, I don't know, they have a few different options. But I will say, in terms of other color correcting primers, you can get an orange primer. And I actually put orange um, concealer under my eyes every single day because the orange counteracts the blue and like the purpley like darkness if you have dark circles. So I actually put orange like concealer on under my eyes every single day underneath my normal concealer. So got the primer. Then I also needed some setting powder for like my whole face. I have a specific setting powder that I use for my concealer areas, so my forehead, under my eyes, my nose, basically the middle of my face, right? But I need a different powder to set like the rest of my face, like all of this out here. You can tell it's I'm glowing a little um, because I do have oily skin and I prefer loose powder. I used to hate it because it was messy, but it's the only thing that really keeps my oil like at bay. So um, I just picked up this NYX Mineral Matte Finishing Powder and it is loose powder. It's just light slash medium. And I really do like NYX stuff, hence why they are my brow combo. I use the micro brow pencil. It has a spoolie and then a really tiny like pencil. It's pretty much exactly like the Anastasia one. I've used both. Um, I don't really remember the difference. I think the Anastasia one is a bit creamier, a bit softer, but this does literally the exact same thing for probably half the price, if not less. Um, and then I will set my brows with brow powder. I've actually been out of this for a while, but this is my combo, NYX brow powder, and I use this one in dark brown and brown. And then the only high-end product I got was my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I refuse to compromise on my concealer. I'm sure there are great drugstore concealers out there, but for me, nothing quite beats Tarte Shape Tape. So that is what I picked up from Ulta. Um, I'm not really hungry because I had my Formula One and Ignition post-workout, so I could just get those nutrients right into my muscles and not have to run home to a post-workout meal. So that typically takes like an hour to digest, which is the point. It's supposed to digest quickly. And then I will eat again. And of course, I'm probably going to have pancakes tonight. Um, so yeah, you know, I start my day with waffles and I end my day with pancakes. And today I started my day with pancake. Just one. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is the update for now. I don't really know what else I'm going to vlog. Maybe we'll vlog the rest of the weekend. We'll see. But I need to get on my water game because it is 5.08. And I definitely have like half a gallon left um, just because we were running around this morning and like I did drink some water at breakfast, but like it was negligible. So I can like feel the dehydration, which is not fun. So anyways, that's the update for now. I will catch you when I catch you. Oh, also, let's talk about this set. I'm obsessed, okay? It's from Buff Bunny, and I was just, I was, I was just telling my Instagram story, like, I haven't bought athletic clothes in a while, um, just because I haven't, like, felt the need to. I haven't been, like, super jazzed about any of them, um, and I was, like, budgeting for a move, obviously, but I'm super hyped about this. Like the material is actually so nice. And here's my thing. Since I'm a little bit taller, it's really hard for me to find pants that are high waisted enough, like actually cover my belly button. Like if, if the pant is right there, if it's literally right there, I'm pissed. I want it to cover my belly button or like this, C cover it please. Okay. And I will say, even after wearing these today, like I never, they didn't fall down. And that is my biggest complaint with like 99% of leggings is they fall down. So I never, like I was pulling them up out of habit, but I didn't need to. Like every time I went to grab them, I was like, oh, they're fine. So just saying, and oh, update on my freaking other Buff Bunny package. I told you I was going to do a Buff Bunny review and I'm waiting on my second package. Second package is long gone, man. It's missing. Some person stole my stuff. Probably, I don't know. I wrote, I've checked, I've done everything. Just how about that, I've done everything. I wrote a love letter to the mailman and they said, I checked all packages and it isn't here. Check with the front office just in case it was left there, sorry. And I'm like, I don't think I'm gonna be like out $140 by any means. I think I'll either get like a refund or a gift card or Buff Bunny will hopefully send me replacements or something um, cause they're really great um, at customer service. So 
I don't know, man. I'm really bummed about it because I ordered the shorts for this too. So we'll see. I'll keep you updated. Buff Bunny video will be coming eventually, okay? Yo, here's what I made for dinner, just for shigs. I have some jasmine rice in there. I have a whole egg hiding under there. I put broccoli and asparagus in the air fryer. And then I went ahead and put soy sauce all over everything. There's chicken in there as well. Um, and then my jam lately has been Dijon mustard. So that's obviously what is over top. But yo, I have just suddenly run out of energy. Like just crashed so hard in the last hour. I've been chilling on the couch. So I'm hoping this food brings me back to life. And that is that. All right, it is Sunday morning. I'm about to go hit the gym. It's like 1040 right now. I wanna get legs done. I'm going to film it, so that will be next. And then I have check-ins today, and then we have a fun afternoon planned if I can get all my shit done. So let's do this leg workout, and then that'll probably it probably be it for this video, but I will do an outro afterward. <laughs> that fucking workout demolished me. I'm on week one of my new training phase, so I didn't really know what to expect. Um, and the way that Nick Tong workouts go is you read through them and you're like, it'll be difficult, but I'll be okay. And then you do them and it just gets worse and worse and worse. But it's growing season. We have X weeks to grow and I'm so ready to just put on as much muscle as I can um, while, you know, kind of holding steady with body weight and body composition for now. So I'm in a solid starting point for prep and yeah, I feel really good. Um, this is what I do every day. I come out to my car after I work out and I give my little Instagram story talk. So I just did that. If you follow me on Instagram, then you already know that. But I figured I would do an outro clip for this vlog because I think I'm going to wrap it up. Um, but side note, I just want to say wearing these like high high socks like higher socks what do you call these ankle socks no because that's like a low sock right i don't know anyway wearing these socks and spandex just makes me feel like a fucking athlete again because i played volleyball year round for over 10 years and i seriously miss it so much and so today i was like ooh, i feel like I feel like an athlete, even though like technically I am an athlete, right? Like I'm a bikini competitor, like I'm a bodybuilder, I'm a weightlifter, like I don't know. It just made me feel good. And there's nothing like a nice gym outfit to make you feel good. Like yesterday's outfit, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And as always, if you watched until now, I'm taking all my good vibes. I'm sending them your way. If you could give the video a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that bell before you leave, that would be dope. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye.